Hello guys and girls out there, wherever you are. Welcome to a little quick tip from me for you how to fix your pinball machine. This is really just a quick tip because it just happened to me just recently. So uh, I was playing the Demolition Man pinball machine and as I was playing it I realized hey none of the flashers are working anymore. So at first I thought that just one flasher was broken, but then I realized that all the other flashers weren't working as well. So, um, yeah, what do you do in this kind of situation if all the flashers all of a sudden stop working? Well, uh, I turned the machine off, turned it back on again, didn't work. I go to the test menu, I tested if all the plungers and everything worked, everything worked fine, but the flashers, nah, they didn't. So I thought to myself, okay, what have we learned in the past? If all of a sudden multiple things stop working at the same time, it's either a loose cable or a loose cable or maybe a broken fuse. So I was checking out all the fuses and I found it and it was really a broken fuse. But let me just show you what this fuse looked like. So this is the broken fuse. Now from the look of it would you be able to identify this one as a broken fuse? I mean, hmm. You really have to look really closely and careful to really being able to identify this thing as a broken fuse and I mean if you look do you see this dark spot right here yeah that indicates that something is burned inside this fuse so you really have to take a close look and then you will be able to see it Yeah, so um, that's this thing. So I put a new fuse in, I replaced the old one and all the flashers work again. See, sometimes it's not even something big and sometimes you don't even need a soldering gun for that. And this is basically the reason why I'm making those videos, because I want to take away your fear of getting your own pinball machine because aside from your wife or the space or the money many people would like to have a pinball machine and if you ask them hey don't you want to get your own pinball machine you like playing pinball yeah I would like to get one but what did I, what did, what do I do if something breaks you know they don't know how to fix it but it's not that hard. It's To me, it's not as hard as fixing a car. I mean, I don't know how to fix something on my car. I mean, I know how to put new oil in it or how to change the tires or the, or the wheels, basically. Not the tires, but the wheels. And, you know, basic stuff like this. But if something really is broken, I don't know. And I also don't have the equipment. But with a pinball machine you don't need much equipment. You need screwdrivers, soldering gun and you know those things to, um, I don't know what it's called, but to release those, what are they called? Nuts? I think they are called nuts. Yeah, but that's all it takes. So let's go on with the demolition man. So I put a new fuse in, all the flashers are working. But then I had another problem, because ever since then, it happened to me two times when I was playing for, I would say, 30 minutes, the entire pinball machine would turn itself off and back on again. For absolutely no reason, I don't know. So all I did was, I made a software reset, so I changed the settings back to factory settings, and it seems to work ever since then. I never had this problem again. So fingers crossed that this was really helping. But yeah, 
that's just another quick tip from me for you the broken fuse so yeah i'm still working on the jurassic park still haven't figured out what is going on with the sound and speaking of the sound i also want to tell you what my next pinball video is going to be all about my next pinball video is going to be a pinball guide again but this time i won't talk about fixing something this time i want to talk about how to upgrade the sound of your pinball machine and i hope it will be interesting for some of you so thanks for watching subscribe thumbs up keep watching whatever you want and see you in the next one bye